Okay, hi. What I'm doing here today is rebushing some keys. And uh, the felt inside is pretty old. This is off a 1920 Heinzmann piano. And uh, the felt, I would suspect, is pretty original, or certainly over 50 years old anyways. Uh, I don't know if you can see that inside the balance rail felt is uh, so old and compressed. I mean, some of it's even missing already. I don't know if the camera will pick that up. I'll move it in a little closer. There we have it. One's missing. And the other one is, you can see, pretty much gone. Front felts are, uh, in this particular one, not too bad, but they're pretty compressed and old. They definitely need to be replaced. And uh, the first thing you want to do is uh, get the tools that you're going to need. What I use is a soldering gun, just ordinary household soldering gun, ordinary tip on it. You can get fancy ones uh, with special tips and everything, but this one works just fine. I have a little container of water and rubbing alcohol, about 50-50. And the rubbing alcohol will help penetrate the felt. And that's what I'm told anyways. I have a X-Acto knife. You're going to need one of them. And it's great if you have some sort of a hook item. That sometimes helps. These are dental picks. And then you need a great big pair of tweezers. A very big pair of tweezers. Uh, that helps. The bigger the better, at least to fit in the hole. And then Q-tips, that's to apply the water mixture. So it's really quite easy. Uh, you just dip in a little Q-tip. Maybe I'll move this over here a bit. Dip it in and touch the felt once and twice and then you do the other side same thing once maybe a good soaking not too much then we set that down take the soldering iron you do the outside edge first and then the inside and just do work on one side at a time you're going to hear it steam a little bit and you just want to go back for it keep this moving if you don't, it's going to stick to the felt, and then you got a, a little bit of a mess there. So once you do that, you just do it quickly. Apply some more water. Another two strokes. And give it across the edge. You'll hear it sizzling. And then the inside. Let her go. And then back to the outside edge. And then you have to be pretty quick. Set this down. Pick up your tweezers and try and peel the edge off while it's still somewhat pliable because it cools fast and when it cools the glue just rehardens again. So now as you can see I pulled the end off. I don't know if you can see that on the camera or not, but I pulled the end off. And that frees it. I didn't bother pulling the whole thing out because if you force it, it's just going to rip and then you got troubles trying to get it out. So you have to be a little generous with the water. Put a little bit more water on the felt. Oops. I've got a messy coffee table here. My wife is very understanding about this sort of stuff. So once that's wet, again, we're working on just the one. You'll hear it steaming, steaming, steaming back and forth pretty quickly a few times you want to get it nice and hot and then your tweezers should lift right out you see that so now we have one completely emptied out and we just repeat it to the other side as you can see I've already done a whole whack of these already I'm getting near the end of the 
last few keys and I thought I would uh, put the camera on and show you how I'm doing it anyways. Some people use steam guns and they blast it with steam and that works pretty quickly and pretty fast but I think it gets the things too wet. So again, now we'll go to the other side because it's dried out a little from taking out the first side. So Usually about two will do it. And we do the outside edge first. And listen to it steam. You can't probably hear that on the camera, but it's steaming pretty good. And we just give it a quick once over. That warms things up pretty good. Apply a little bit more water. Uh, maybe one, maybe two dabs. And then again, the outside edge. Keep it moving, and then we'll go to the inside edge and keep it moving. Because we got the other side out, things go a little bit quicker because you can move it a little better inside there. Get your tweezers and peel it off. By this one, it should just come right out. Yeah, that comes right out nice and easy. Simple as that, and there it is, it's out. And we didn't put too much water in. So that it goes to the pile. <clears throat> so that's from the front rail bushings. Now the balance rail is a little bit harder, especially on this old piano. As I say, this felt is probably a hundred years old, or 96 years, or whatever it works out to, from 1920 until now. So it takes a little bit more to get it out. So what you're going to want to do is put some water on it. This particular one only has one felt in it, so that makes it a little easier. The other felt is either disintegrated or just worn away. So we get it nice and wet. Give it a second. And now this one is not going to release as well as the first did. This is going to be rough because it's very, very solidly on there for years. So this one here, you pretty much have to really get it going hot take that off add a little more water and you want to keep this moving real quick because these ones on this particular key really really grabs to the heating soldering iron and then it's stuck on there and then you got a little bit of a mess there so this one here, you have to sort of peel it apart to get it out. And I don't know if you can see that, but it's tricky as can be. Oh, there's a piece. And it comes out in pieces and in chunks. But that's okay. So, basically, uh, if you can see that in the light and in the camera, that is completely removed of felt. And now what you want to do is let that dry for at least a day, preferably two days. And what's going to happen is uh, as you're doing all 88 keys, by the time you get done the 88, the first ones have long dried because this takes quite a process to do and it takes quite a bit of time. Now if you have a dental pick, it's very handy for picking out stuff that may be caught in here. And in this case, it's not too bad, nothing much in there. Some of the keys I've been finding are very strange. Ah, oh, here's one right here. Very strange thing inside these keys. I don't know if you can, the camera can pick that up. I'll put it in the light. Hopefully you can see that. It's a weird little thing. And I've been finding lots of them in all of the balance rail things. It seems to be hollow. It's almost like some sort of sack. I'm not sure if it's an insect larvae thing, but it's in every single one. Or if this was put in by some piano maker or tuner or what the purpose is, I have no idea. But there's lots of them in all of these old balance rail holes. And, uh, if you can see this pile very good. excuse me a little bit of a camera glitch there uh, 
I was beginning to say, if you can see this pile, you'll see I found lots of those little things in here. And I'll put a few on there. The camera can pick it up. Hopefully it can. If I can stop moving it around. There we are. That's a whole whack of them there. There's little tiny, weird looking things. Each one is about the same size. And they seem to be, as I say, insect larvae or something of that nature. But in any case, that's where the hook comes in handy. You'll clean all that out, whatever might be in there, little pieces of felt, that sort of thing over the years, and give it a little blow, and preferably outside. Again, I have an understanding wife in the house here, but I'm not blowing it too hard. So you just blow it out, blow it out the other end, if you have a couple of files, it's very handy. Uh, once everything is completely dried, take your files and file out the holes. Very, very gently, just to take the felt. You don't want to take any wood off at all. So just to take any excess felt or glue that might still be on there. Uh, here's a pointed one. Sometimes a pointed one will help you a little better to get in at certain spots where you don't want to damage the wood. The less you take off, the better. And that's how you do it. Getting the felt out. Black keys are slightly different. Uh, only in the sense that the opening is a little bit narrower. I'll find one that has the felt in it. Here we are. This one has the felt in it. So as you can see, the, the narrower opening, but it's the same principle. Wet the edges. Edges first, and then the inside on both. And then just follow what I just did on the last one. The edges, peel them off, and then get inside, peel the one side off. It's going to give you extra space. Do this side. And do the balance rail. Same deal. Again, if it's really hard felt to get out, a little bit of water, alcohol, penetrates, heat. That's all you need to do. I did I did mention the tool here. And that is because when you're using this and you get a piece of felt and you're back and forth and it sticks. Now there's a piece. Actually, I don't know if the camera will pick that up or not. But there's a piece stuck on there already. And that's where the back of your X-Acto blade comes in handy. Just give that a little straight. And you could use anything. But I use an X-Acto knife because it works pretty good. Again, the back of your blade. You want to keep your soldering tip pretty clean. The cleaner it is, <clears throat> the more accurate it'll be, the hotter it'll be, and the more you'll be able to use it a little better. Also, the X-Acto blade is great. Most of the time I use the back of the blade. You don't want to use the sharp where it's going to cut into the wood, and you'll scrape a little bit if you need to be to get the final little bits and pieces out. And that's about it. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe.